Many people from different ethnic backgrounds were encouraged to come and work in the UK. They suffered racist abuse and prejudice in many walks of life, including football. Many top clubs claimed black people would not make good footballers. It seems incredible that people thought like this then, but racial prejudice was part of everyday society. When clubs did begin to sign black players, these first black footballers suffered from terrible abuse from fans and from other players. Monkey chanting, booing, uh, even uh, in its most extreme cases throwing up bananas. And, and obviously uh, that was something that uh, anybody would find difficult to actually deal with. It was very, very common in, in late. You know, and, and I mean, I, I was very taken aback by it. I was, I was hurt in a, in a way that I probably don't care to to remember right now. People were making a lot of excuses for it. People were saying, saying they were coming out with things like, um, you get called a black this, or I get called a, a fat that, or I get called a ginger this, or whatever. And I would say, well, hang on, you weren't persecuted because you're ginger here. You weren't persecuted because you was, you was, you was fat. People got persecuted because they were black. So the connotations that, that, that come with calling someone a black this or black that far out way the connotations in calling someone fat or calling someone ginger hit. And you know, even now, you know, not everybody's views have changed. I'm glad that we are, as players, uh, we could reach that uh, level of, 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 of maturity and of thinking.